Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Caravan of Garbage. And yes, due to popular request and also backlash, Batman Begins is again on hold. That's right. I may have uploaded a different thumbnail, so apologies for that. But you know how YouTube is, Mason. You know how it is. It's a fickle program. Website? Yeah, and if you upload a, the wrong thumbnail as a cruel joke, they put it up. <laughs> they do. They should correct you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, James, this is a funny joke, but who's it on? <laughs> it's on us, isn't it, really? Because we had to watch another Twilight movie. By the way, we're now, now... you'd never seen this one either. No, I haven't. Mm. And this one, I should point out, uh, we're moving into the Twilight saga. Oh, boy. That's where we're at. Twilight 2, Twilight Goes Hawaii. I think it's called a different thing, isn't it? No. Okay, it's called Twilight Goes Hawaii. Mm -hmm. Or uh, Twilight Goes to Hawaii. Well, the character's name's Twilight, right? The main guy is Twilight? That's true. The main guy is Twilight. There's a little bit more zest and colour to this one, though, isn't there? Mm. As opposed to the cold and calculated Edwin Cullen of last week. Yes. This week, we've got the Red Hot Jacob. Oh, yes, that's right. Raring to go. Please leave a like if you could. Uh, if not for us, uh, for Jacob's uh, jean shorts, cargo shorts, wolf boys. Which oh, my God, it's jean shorts out. for days. <laughs> in this. Oh, my, just a long jean short. Like, yeah, just a long jort. Yes, please. Now, I know probably at the time, for teenage girls, the appeal of the movie is the love triangle, the Bella, Jacob, Edward love triangle. Sure. But for me, the whole dramatic tension of this movie was... When's he going to get the short hair? Because the thumbnail yeah, for the yeah, movie, yeah. he had short hair. But mm. when the movie started, he had long hair. And I'm like, when's he going? When's he going to cut that hair? You know what's coming too. But you, then he cut it off screen. <laughs> what that? Wow. That's when he had his wolf wow. transformation. That's the money shot, baby. When he's like, I'm so sad or whatever. I'm cutting my hair. You're right. Jean shorts. <laughs> this is really. You're right though. This is a love triangle between yeah. Jacob Bella and Jacob's wig, which apparently uh, Taylor Lautner ha uh, hated in real life. But I bet he kept it. Do you reckon he kept it? Yeah. Yeah. Why? He's put it in a set of stocks and he throws tomatoes <laughs> at it. <laughs> so uh, this one clocks it at 10 minutes longer, and boy does it. Sure does. Uh, and the kicking off point of this is uh, Bella's having a dream or a premonition, or I don't know, does she have power? I don't know. Where she, she imagines herself as old, and she's with uh, Edward, who's <laughs> still... 38 years old. That's right. Old is a 38 year old, <laughs> 17 year old, correct. Uh, and interestingly enough, and we talked a bit about this last week, Edward doesn't appear in a mirror in the, the, the dream. I know that's not reflective of like vampire powers, which or I do want to. Thank you. Which I do want to get into because there's more vampire lore. <laughs> that I want to touch upon. Uh -huh. uh, but so, yeah, she's worried about getting old. Apologies again if we got this wrong last week. He's 109 years old. Oh, I see. And, you know, she, she's like, maybe I shouldn't be dead in such an old man. Correct. That's right. Now, I had a thought about this. I've been thinking about this all week. So is it less weird? Mm -hmm. uh, my thinking is, potentially, is it that your brain development stops at the age you got turned into a vampire. So yeah. maybe he's been emotionally and mentally 17 for 100 years. Well, that's what I was thinking about because... Is that less creepy? Yeah, see, the thing is, <laughs> I, I also looked into this. Right. So in a lot of vampire lore, if you get bitten as a baby, you stay as a baby. If you get bitten <laughs> as a child, you stay as a child. Right. So presumably, yes. But maybe, but see, that's the thing. Like, But also, that means that if they were to get together and Bella were to stay human, then she would very quickly eclipse, pun intended, his mental and emotional state when she becomes like 30 and 40 and he's still a 17-year-old, but like a indestructible, like super strong 17-year-old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So her only option, again, is 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 the, the crux of the plot of this movie, is that she wants to be turned into a vampire, but that's like asking your weird... 17 year old immortal boyfriend to like crack you really hard on the head once <laughs> so you stay emotionally 17 yeah, forever yeah, absolutely. and that's, that's weird as well yeah that is weird as well mm. but luckily though Edward takes leave he says uh, look Carlisle is uh, is supposed to be 10 years older than he looks so he's the, the dad the dad vampire yeah 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 which I think is strange because if they all turned up at the town like presumably a couple years prior was he like, I'm 55? Like, right. when he arrived? Because yeah. wouldn't he just be like, I'm 30? I'm 30? We might be covering some of the same ground as the previous video, and we will be covering it again, I assume, in the next video. If but we again, come back to it. Why do they all live in the same house? <laughs> why do they all pretend to be blood-related? No, no, I think they're supposed to be adopted. Right. Because some of them are dating. Most yeah. of them are dating. Why are they da Why are they publicly dating? Like, you're doing everything you can to draw attention to yourself. Yeah. Why is that one guy wearing, like, a? he's going to high school, but he's wearing a shirt and tie and a denim trench coat? What's going <laughs> on with these people? <laughs> Dress normal and act normal, you freaks. <laughs> you freaks. 
So yeah, Edward breaks up with Bella for some reason. Uh, we find out later it's because he wanted her to have a normal, uh, happy life. Uh, I've written here, just very toxic. Don't like it. And mm. then he starts, uh, She's she's got massive uh, remorse, regret. Mm. And she starts seeing him in visions. Oh my God, yes. And I thought... Initially, oh, he's using like what? giant floating head Edward, yeah. or Headwood as I like to call him, <laughs> Headwood Cullen. <laughs> Why is that not a meme? Why has he not been a meme? Just she's, sometimes she's just driving a car, and this is the big floating head keeps zooming past her. <laughs> what the hell? I think it was a bike. Uh, but yeah, no, you're right. It's a great question. Like I thought, this was this a vampire power that he unlocked? Did someone else in his family have that vampire is power? Is it just a hallucination? I think it's an hallucination, right? Yeah. Is that right? From the crack on the head that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, that's right. And speaking of, she promises, uh, she promises to him, I won't be reckless. I'm gonna be cool. And he's like, you better. But she gets a taste for motorbikes and bad boys. Oh, that's right. She becomes the world's clumsiest adrenaline junkie, which <laughs> I thought was fun. That's a fun character. It's like um, uh, 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 Hot Rod. Remember yeah, Hot Rod? That's, that's the perfect... <laughs> Andy, Andy, Andy Samberg and Hot Rod. Yeah, and that's, of course, where we get introduced to Jacob through the bikes. So obviously, he's part of the Cargo and Gene Shaw Wolf Boys, which we, which we talked yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And initially, I'm like, yeah, I guess he's... I guess this is better. I guess this is... This is uh, yeah, you know it, it. It is to be revealed that he is, you know, his his motives aren't as pure, and he is kind of capable of, you yeah. know, doing bad things and lying and all this sort of stuff. But at the same time, to me, everybody seems better than Edward Cullen. Yeah, right. Okay. She's got better chemistry with everybody. She can have a conversation with people yeah, in a yeah. way she can't have a conversation with this freak. If you met that couple like at a party or something, you'd be like, "Why are they? Why are they still 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 going? What is going? Yeah, what's going? Yeah, what's, excuse me. Yeah, what is this? What is this with you? You two? <laughs> we don't like it. Yeah, we've all decided we don't like this. Why are you wearing a, a check flannel shirt and you're in a weird Edwardian velvet <laughs> collar coat like a little Lord Fauntleroy? What's happening here? <laughs> but at the same time, and there's going to be that's right. Get back in your sensible Volvo. <laughs> get out of here. It's got another sensible Volvo. Did you see it? It's an it does have a very sensible Volvo. Yeah, it's interesting, though, because he's still terrible because he tells Edward on the phone that Bella is dead. Mm. Presumably killed herself, Romeo and Juliet, etc. Yeah, and or so boy. Forth. Yeah. Uh, did you get it? I got it. <laughs> you got it? I got it. You saw it, you got it. I saw the things in the movie, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got good, it. okay. I, I put them together with the other things in the movie. So that's not cool either, obviously, and that, and that leaves Edward on a path of destruction, and by that I mean he draws on some charcoal labs and he steps <laughs> into the sun. Which we'll get back to. But but I wanted to ask you specifically about the werewolves. Okay, go on. And the werewolf look. Because these are essentially big wolves, right? Mm, they're uh, very big wolves. Would you say they're not werewolvy enough? Yes. Or are you happy with, like, what's going on it's here? It's more like they transform into dire wolves. Let me tell you this. Okay. Loved, loved the colours. Yep. Loved how they all had a different colour so you could tell them apart. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't tell who was who, but I just liked that they were different colours. <laughs> but what I didn't like, maybe, I, I was going to say maybe... Jacob was the tan one. Yes, he was, oh, beautiful tan. Oh, my God. He should have matched his hair, though. Yeah, you But you're then right. I guess they would have all had been the same colour. But Maybe it'll happen in, the, in subsequent movies. I don't think it will. Yeah. But what I don't like about this is they have no man-wolf hybrid mode. Yes, exactly. They're either men or big wolves. Yeah. But they're never a... We, I want a big wolf man. Well, I think also te wolf man. technically they're not werewolves because they can change at any time. Oh, yeah, And that true. has a different name. This is like the time yeah, when we right. talked about Reign of Fire and people were like, technically they're not dragons, they're wyverns. <laughs> get fucked! No one cares. Get Absolutely get fucked. <laughs> Fuck off with your dragon law. That's right. Get fucked. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> No, I actually do like knowing those little things. Why don't you lich my balls? <laughs> it's a type of undead wizard. I know things. He knows things. Yeah. So yeah, no, I, yeah, I, I see, I see what you mean because they're not werewolfy enough, and I think I'm yeah. looking for something very specific in a werewolf. Mm. I found the similar thing with Harry Potter when they're like Professor Lupin is like Slender Man werewolf. I'm like, no, thank you. I don't like this. Mm. I do not like this. I liked at the very least uh, that they they planned all the various shots in the movies, mm. so at no point. Would uh, any of the werewolves have to change back in human form? Yeah. Jortless. Pants, yeah. I and totally noticed that because at the end when Jacob runs away, you would run away mm. because you, you're you not wearing pants. That's right. And that's that's cool <laughs> that he did that because he's a child. That's Because yep. he's 16. That's true, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's illegal. Uh, anyway, Victoria's back. She wants to kill Bella, etc. and so forth. Uh, I like to use underwater. I'm like, swimming underwater, Dracula? That's some spooky stuff. Good mm, stuff. Movie. Absolutely. Well done. Um, and the other thing is we get some other vampire lore, and by that I mean we meet the real villains of the Twilight Saga, Italians. <laughs> Mamma <Ooh>. mia. <laughs> so it's the, the Volturi, 
Yes. And the thing about the Volturi is, mm -hmm. if somebody's sick of being alive, they go to them and they go, can you please rip my head off? <laughs> And James, go, picture this. James, picture this, if yep. you will. Uh, vampire v. Vampire. I'm watching. Drake I'm thinking, meme. I'm thinking in my mind. Drake, Drake's against this. Stake through the heart. Drake's <laughs> for this. Just straight up ripping a man's head off. Oh, cool. Yeah. Drake's also for this. Uh, texting underage girls. I know, right? Allegedly. <laughs> what am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Talk about the 16-year-olds in jorts more. <laughs> So anyway, what I thought strange about that was... But like, anyway, I just love that they, that's the go-to. It's just ripping <laughs> ripping somebody's head off. And it's weird because, like... you have Silver to, bullets? Nah. Nah, you have to go to it like it's a request. But I feel like... We'll put you in the queue. Yeah, but if you, like... I don't know. You've got a couple of strong enough horses. Mm, sure. You could probably get your head pulled off. Or a couple of Volvos. Yeah, or a couple of Volvos. Sensible, but powerful. We mm, all know that. That's right, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. I think that's interesting. Anyways, we, we're introduced to more vampire powers, of course. We, we've seen the one that sees the future. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, one, I think, does mood control or something. That's mentioned at the school. She's yeah. like, don't use your mood control. I don't like my birthday. Yeah, she swallowed a mood <laughs> ring. Oh, well, there's one. another thing about that. Like, she's Bella's absolutely like, I don't, please don't make a big deal about my birthday. Yeah. And then he's like, Edward's like, I'm telling my whole family they're getting you gifts. We're making a whole big thing about yeah. it. Yeah. Rude. I, I agree. Yeah. Something uh, a very old man or a very young man would do. So That's, I still yeah. don't know where we're at with him. Right, exactly. I don't like him, though. Yeah. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. Also, a stepdad's like, here, have this unboxed digital camera. <laughs> Where'd he get it? I'm going to say asset forfeiture. <laughs> Took it, a guy, took it off a guy up the street. I was like, I'm, I'm having this. You might want to uh, wipe that memory card. <laughs> I haven't had a look at it, but it's not going to be good. Anyway, on your way, Drake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Allegedly. Anyways, uh, Michael Sheen can read memories if he touches you. Mm -hmm. uh, one does, does straight up pain. Yep. It's sure. like, bam, you got mm -hmm. pain. One, it, one of them, perfect espresso every time. <laughs> You're going to do a little art on it? Yeah. Well, that's good. Yeah. And of course, Bella, it turns out, has the, the greatest power of all. Uh, she's immune to pow powers. That's pretty cool. And that would make a hell of a vampire. They, is, she immune, they immune, is she immune to having a head twisted on? <laughs> I can't imagine so. Mm. It's interesting because... It's not working. <laughs> I've twisted so hard. <laughs> I've twisted this 16 times. I've had three espressos. What's wrong? <laughs> I feel like, though, there is a moment in, uh, in the Italian room Mm -hmm. where there's a fight between Edward and some other vampires. Yep. Also turns out, he's not great hand-to-hand, -hand, is he? If I had 109 years, I'd know so much fucking Krav Maga. I was going to say you would learn Krav Maga. I'd be tearing through everything. <laughs> you couldn't yeah. stop me, mate. Mm. But the action in that room is, the speed is conveyed so much not better bad, in this Not bad, not bad at all. Is and it a different director from the previous It is, yeah, but also it's down to the budget. Actually, I've got a note about that. So Catherine Ooh. Hardwick, yes. who directed the first one, uh, she turned down directing this film because of the release date set by Summer which was exactly one year after the first film, would not allow her enough time to work on the script. And I think she also doesn't get enough credit for this franchise because she cast this. Like, she got it kicked off and she didn't do another one. Yeah, right. So anyway, I think that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, the idea is that um, the, the, the vampires uh, that, that <laughs> eat animal blood... Yes. I, I thought, why don't they just have drink human blood, right, Go from on. a blood bank. Sure. Which is like a thing in, remember that Ethan Hawke vampire movie? Yeah, it's in a lot of stuff, I think. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's in Blade. It's in a bunch of shit. But it turns out that uh, in this it's movie... It's in the Vampire Diaries. That's where I remember it from. <laughs> is it really? Yeah. You read the Vampire Diary? No, but I watched Jenny Nicholson's video about the oh, Vampire Diaries. Oh, the Diary. Vampire Diary. Yep. Very good. Um, so a vampire's diet, though, is revealed by the colour of their eyes. So the Cullens only feast on animal blood, so they have topaz eyes. Oh. Whereas, like, the nomads... Michael Sheen... Exactly. Or the Volturi have red eyes. Mm. Or you could do, drink a bunch of like blood from a blood bank, put contacts in, or cool nice. sunglasses, or pull your eyes out, or, <laughs> uh, I don't know, kill yourself, get your head pulled off. Here's a thought also. Um, some of these guys, like I think one guy's called Jasper. First yep. of all, they all have great names. Agreed. He goes to this school, yep. and he's only recently become a vampire vegetarian. Yeah. How is it not a bloodbath at the school every day? Yeah. Because teenagers are constantly tripping over and scraping their knees. Exactly. And doing a skateboard trick. Anyways, there's a confrontation with Jacob at the end. And she says, Jacob, I choose Edward. You suck and he sucks. And then he's like... <laughs> but this one's more mysterious and he doesn't seem interested in me. So I like him more. <laughs> Because that's how this works. That's how this works. So he's like, okay, I'm going to give you three years... Which mm. is also perfect because there's three more movies. Then, you know, we can decide whether or you can decide whether or not you want to be an, a magical vampire person. Mm. And she has a vision of the future where she's beautiful and sparkling and running without tripping, which I'll oh, just imagine. Mm. And I feel like, you know, 
the three years, that's when the like the abstinence shit in these movies, like the, that's going to really kick off. Do you know what I mean? Because that's like an underlying kind of theme of a mm, lot of yeah, this. Yeah. Do you know what they I mean? barely even do any kisses. They barely do enough kisses. Mm. That's what I think. Anyways, I wanted to ask you though. So, would you stick to for the moment? Go on. And you you are open to change this if we come back to these. Okay. Who do you choose between Jacob and? Edward. James, are you asking if I'm Team Edward or Team Jacob? I guess I am, Mason. Wow. Get it trending. Bearing in mind that Jacob, in a later movie, uh, imprints on Bella and Edward's baby, and then they end up getting married. Oh, then Team Edward forever. Because <laughs> that's... Yeah. Pretty, pretty ordinary? Yeah, by comparison, it's like one trillionth as creepy as the thing that you just said. Yeah, okay, so, cool. Yeah, yeah, Excellent. Yeah, yeah. It's weird that Drake came up this episode, isn't it? <laughs> sure is. Drake. Drake. Anyways, it's time for mm-hmm. New Moon Via. I love it. It's trivia. That's pretty good. Thanks. Oh, what, what do you got in the tank here? Okay. <laughs> Every song that appears in this film and on the soundtrack is original and written specifically for the film. Very nice. I agree. Uh, so there's a movie that they go and see in this with a... Face Punch. Face Punch. Uh, tagline, let's do this. Now, has Stephanie Meyer written a full Face Punch script? Funny you should say that because in the book, mm-hmm. uh, the movie they go and see is Crosshairs, but there was a movie called Crosshairs from 2008. What is that? I've never heard of that. Neither have I. Should I look it up just you now? should look it up right now. We'll get some hard facts. I do have one more note here that we, we didn't get to. Oh, I'd love to see it. Uh, well, it, it just No, said... I want to see it. Show me the note. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, you gave me the bird. That's right. Uh, it's interesting that, and it's and it's it, initially it made no sense that vampires just get virgin airways. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A normal person just to go with the general public, but then I saw that Alice she put a scarf on. <laughs> I guess it's fine. That is fine. Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, yeah just a daytime <laughs> flight. Nobody notices this sparkly <laughs> lady. Put a scarf on. Put a scarf. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm looking at this movie. Crosshairs. Is anybody famous in it? The, when this is the IMDb, it's blank, oh, it's blank as hell. That's blank as hell. But it's uh like half an hour shorter than. Uh, the new moon, so oh, man, we I'm into that. it. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I got one more bit of trivia. Go on. But this is a subsection of the uh, new moon via section. Does it, is it anything to do with Michael Sheen? No. Okay. But it's called uh, New Bod Who Dis. Because, of course, Jacob, mm. he bulked up for this. That's right. I don't know if you know this, but Michael... Uh, Sheen? Cop- no. Okay. Michael- I'm just saying it was nice to see Michael Sheen. Also, this. we know he was in... The, there was a werewolf in the, in the other thing. Anyways... Was he? Yeah, was he was in... It was a lichen in fucking that bl- really blue series. Was he? Underworld? Yeah, it was Good in for one him. of them. Rise of the Lycans in I've the first Michael one or whatever. You've seen him, you know him. Anyway, Michael Coppon was set to star as to uh, to take on the role of Jacob Black because oh. Taylor Lautner was only 17 in 2009. So I thought he can't gain the 26 pounds of muscle required for the mm. role. But it turns out he did. And this is how he did it, Mason. He ate thick, heavy food every two hours. He had three protein shakes a day. Wait, even at night? They guess. They woke him up. They prodded him away <laughs> every two hours at night. Uh, he had to carry a little baggie full of uh, beef patties and raw almonds and sweet potatoes. Well, just carry it around. Yeah, because he's going to, to lift weights. Yeah, he's in Hollywood. Uh, so he had to consume 3,200 calories a day just to maintain. That's just to maintain. Whoa. Mason. Yeah, and also hit the gym five days a week, allowing for two days of rest because that is important. A lot of people might not, might not. A lot of people might take for granted the uh, the, the the rest days required when exercising. Mm. Your body needs time to heal important now also does the body need hgh in this instance no apparently not well he was like 16 when he started working out so i hope not that would have messed his head up yeah would have missed that would have missed his head mr his head would have fallen off anyways it's also (laughs) like a vampire's uh so it's box office time also i'm ready so this actually broke the record for the biggest one day gross in the u.s with 72.7 million i think the next one day gross is when that thing happens with the baby and the (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> to do falling in love with a baby. I think that's a lifetime of that's gross, a lot isn't of, it? That's a lot of gross, let me tell you. Uh, the former record holder was The Dark Knight, which is actually the movie that we should be talking about by now if we had have done Batman Begins last week. Well, we're week. doing a trick on you, the viewer, and ourselves. Exactly. So it's big box office time all the time for the mm. Twilight Saga. Uh, should we come back next week? Wow. We'll find out. Three more. I'm talking to you, James. There's three more yeah, of no, these, I know. apparently. No, I know. There's like half a movie of plot left, yeah. from what I can gather. It seems that way, doesn't it? Yeah, but there's three more movies. Yeah. Daring in mind, we have bailed on franchises in the past. Yep. We could bail on this. 
We could do Batman, a movie that everybody likes. It's true. We'll think about it. We'll have a think about Anyways, it. Anyways, if you do want to know... See how these do. Maybe they get a million views. <laughs> if you do want to know what's going on next week, you can actually go to bigsandwich.co and if you do want to sign up, it's like our private Patreon. That's right. Uh, where Caravan of Garbage goes up there a day early. And in addition to that... We also have movie commentaries. We also have exclusive bonus podcasts. Also, our podcast, The Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. Every week, that comes out on Sunday as opposed to Monday, ad-free. I'm at Mr. Sunday Movies on Twitter. I'm at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. Are you enjoying whatever this is that we're doing? They're bad, but I am. And also, to the viewer of this, or listener. Yeah, they're bad, but they and are. And you are. And I and am. Are. Okay, good. Please let us know uh, what you want to see, and I will probably... I don't know, push back on any aggression. Yeah, and just do the, you'll do whatever do you want. Do the thing that I think. I think is most annoying for people. Yeah, you'll pretty much, the majority uh, will will determine what you'll do the opposite of yep. out of spite. That's right. All right, thanks, everybody. Okay, grab that gem. You guys will see you next week. Goodbye. Yeah!